you doing? So I am back at it tonight and I am happy I see a familiar uh, name there. Putting curlers in your hair, that's just fine. Just pay attention to me, okay? Uh, while you are putting curlers in your hair, I'm not too far behind you. So thank you for tuning in because I know our hair is real important. Hello, Felicia81. Thank you for joining. Um, my name is Rhonda Kennard. I'm the founder of A Life Ignited. You can find me online at www.alifeignited.com. I am a mom of two, a wife of one. I am an author speaker and I am a mentor to many. I am an introverted shoe lover who has a passion for igniting lives, helping people stand up, soar, and find their purpose and live in their purpose and thrive in life. And tonight, I am calling it a night. I've had a long day. I was supposed to go to New York. The bus that was supposed to take me and a group of people there didn't show up. It was crazy. But um, I pulled out my Bible, which I do from time to time. I don't always uh, do periscopes on it. Thank you, www.alifeignited.com. And so if you're on the replay, um, thank you for tuning in and checking this out. And I hope that something in this video motivates you and blesses you um, that Tomorrow, if you're Eastern Standard Time and you're putting rollers in your hair, that means you're getting ready for bed. And if you're like me, you're going to call it night soon, too. So hopefully this will be something that, you know, will lay on your heart tonight and, and be in your mind. And when you wake up tomorrow, you'll be thinking on something like this. So um, in the book, and I'm just going to jump right to this because my son is in the shower and I've got to check on him in a minute. Um, but in the book that I wrote, I mentioned earlier, I'm an author, uh, A Life Ignited, Ignite Your Inner Fuse, that's me. And in the back of the book, in one of the last chapters, um, I talk about igniting your inner fuse through the whole book. And I talk about a lot of the things that really kept me captive from living in my truth, living in my power. And uh, one of those things was self-confidence. One of those things, again, was just self-confidence and, and self-doubt and, and having too much self-doubt. And so... Um, I wrote a prayer for anyone who would read this book and I'm not going to read the whole prayer. It's a couple pages long, but I just wanted to uh, bless you guys uh, with this this evening. And part of the prayer, it says, I ask you to decrease what limits me so you may increase in me so that I can go the distance of my journey and thrive in life. And so I was thinking about this tonight and I was thinking about some conversations I had today. And so uh, for all the people struggling with self-confidence, which is really, uh, it's a combination of your gifts, your talents, and your faith. And so a lot of times we lose our self-confidence because we've allowed somebody to can take it from us. We've allowed somebody to convince us that our idea for our business, uh, a talent that we have, a relationship we want to be in, a relationship we want to grow, build, a health goal, whatever it is, we've allowed someone to make us feel like we can't accomplish that goal, that we're not adequate, that we're not enough, that there's something missing, that you don't have all the pieces to the puzzle. And in many cases, you're not going to have all the pieces to the puzzle. But you have to be confident and assured in who you are and whose you are that you can move forward and accomplish anything you want to achieve. So tonight when I was reading through this, pr uh, this prayer that I wrote for my readers, I was thinking that tonight I'm going to pray that God really decreases self-doubt and increases self-confidence in you. And so what I want you to remember, I want you to remember three things tonight about self-confidence. I want you to remember that number one, you are enough, okay? I don't care what somebody told you. I don't care how somebody made you feel. I don't care what you believed at the time because you were in a, a position where you were really emotional or you didn't feel good about a situation. That's right, you are enough. You have everything you need to be successful, to follow your dreams, to follow the path that God has put you on, where your heart's being led. Don't let anyone make you feel like you can't accomplish your goals. Okay, can we raise up a couple hearts too? I always forget to ask for hearts, but I, I need a couple hearts in my life. But thank you, thank you, yay. So um, you are enough. And what I've learned is that the people who make you feel inadequate are the most 
the least self-confident people that I've ever met, that you've ever met. And they're putting that self-doubt, they're putting that fear, their lack of faith on you, and you're believing them. And so you're not chasing your dream, you're not starting your business, you're not in positions where you could be pushed to prosperity because don't believe them. Don't believe the hype. Don't believe the hype. Seriously, don't believe it because that's what people will do put their fears on you and make you feel like you're not adequate. What business? You don't have any money. You don't have any networks. You don't have any friends in that business. How are you going to succeed? You don't know them. They don't like you. I can remember not singing misery loves company. Yes. And a lot of people want to see you succeed, but they don't want you to succeed before they do. So if you guys are both, you know, coming up the ladder together, it's great. But the minute you're like up a couple rings and, and they're still further down here, mm -mm, now you know that you have made some people mad. And so people will try to make you, look, I will preach from time to time, Brittany, I'm telling you, but this is on my heart tonight because I was talking to someone, I'll tell you where this is coming from. I was talking to someone and she's a brilliant event planner. Her name is Megan. I'm going to throw her name out there. Her name is Megan. Brilliant event planner. I told her, you're so brilliant. Why are you not pursuing this on a bigger scale? Like you need million dollar clients. Okay. I'm not your million dollar client. Okay. But you have that potential. And she said, well, you know, I talked to some people and like they said, and I don't know who they is, right? Get, we'll say the peanut gallery. The peanut gallery told her she doesn't know million dollar people and, and who would really pay for her services. And I told her, are you kidding me? Open any any home and magazine book, all these NFL players and NBA players and all these, you know, people with money have parties all the time. They have bar mitzvahs, bar mitzvahs and all these types of things you could be pursuing because she's good enough. But me telling her she's good enough is, is negated by this peanut gallery, giving her all the reasons why she should not pursue this goal of hers. And so again, self-confidence is faith in your talent and your gifts. And the minute you lose faith in your talents and your gifts, then you lose faith in yourself. And so to her, I said, you don't know until you try. But then the other question was, are these people in business? So how can these people tell you that you will or will not have a successful business if they're not in business? Right. So, you know, we cannot relinquish our power to people who cannot validate our dreams. OK, so that's number one. You are enough. Number two, I kind of led right into it was no one can define you unless you let them. So know who you are and whose you are. And don't be so quick to relinquish your power and your gifts to someone who really doesn't understand the power that lives within you. I can remember a time, um, so I sing and I've sang all my life. And uh, when I went through puberty, my voice went from like a, a high alto to a very low alto. And I was very self-conscious about it because then I had to sing the parts with the guys. And I always thought that the women sang with the women and the boys saying with the boys but now my voice was so deep I was over with the boys and I was self -con I was very self-conscious about it so not see no Brittany no I'll sing you back up at your concert okay <laughs> girl on the right is an awesome singer and I have her CD and I listen to it all the time but I'm not going to sing here people cannot define you unless you let them absolutely so you cannot allow people to define you and put you in a box because they are scared to grow they're scared to progress and so they just want to hold your hand and keep you in the same box you have to let people know who you are and whose you are and be confident in that yes don't be a box troll okay and number three I'm pulling out the good book actually I'm pulling out the cell phone because my Bible here is a version and, and I like the version uh, new international version better for this particular scripture but number three Psalms 139 14 I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made your works are wonderful period that's it you need to be self-confident and know that you are fearfully and wonderfully made thank you so much Psalms 139 14 fearfully and wonderfully made who can take that away from you who can tell you that that you're inadequate, that you're not enough, that you're not bright enough, that you don't have the resources? And guess what? You may not have the resources right now, but you just have to get resourceful. I know what it's like not to have and and not to have resources, not to have connections, not to have finances, 
nobody. That's right. That's right. I know what all of that is like, but I never let anyone steal my joy in terms of pushing forward with my passion. And that self-confidence really is the precursor to all your success. Because if you don't believe that you're successful, if you don't believe you're going to be successful, if you don't believe that you have the gift, if you don't believe that you can serve others, then they won't believe it. And so for anyone who ever tries to make you feel like, oh my gosh, I, I don't know if I can do this because they just said, right? There's like stirring up the fear inside of you. They're stirring up those bad negative thoughts, right? Just remember, you are fearfully and wonderfully made. That's our third point. So tonight, I just want to leave you. I'm definitely going to say this part of the prayer and I'm going to ask that God decrease self-doubt and increase self-confidence because that self-confidence is what's going to take you from where you are now knowing that your faith is strong you have the gifts and the talents and now all you need to do is make those things happen in your life but don't get distracted by naysayers don't let anyone make you feel inadequate don't let anyone try to tell you you can't do what God has put on your heart that Every day you wake up, you're thinking about it, you eat, sleep, and breathe it. You're up at 10 o'clock at night doing Periscope videos because you know you're walking in your purpose. No one can deter you from that. So be self-confident, walk in your purpose. You are fearfully and wonderfully made and no one, no one can take that away from you. So God bless. Have a good night. Again, this is Rhonda Kennard. You can see me on www.alifeignited.com. Have a good night and I will see you soon.